Hello folks, welcome back to another detailed review video of this XP Pen Deco 01 V210. And today, we are going to do a software compatibility test with the express key buttons on the tablet and see how well they get along. We are going to test it with three different painting software and one animation software. First, Clip Studio Paint. Second, Easy Paint Tool Sci. Third, Krita, specially requested by my viewers to test on this. And the fourth one, Toon Boom Harmony, a 2D animation software. So here are the specs of the tablet and the PC. If you would like to spend some time to look through it, feel free to pause the video. And if you would like to know more about the product itself in detail, you can check out the link above right here where I unbox this product and talk about the full detail and the specs of all the components inside the box. So now let's look into the software installation part. Firstly, you need to go to the XP Pen website and look for download tab and choose Deco01 V2. And I'm using the new UI beta driver for Windows. Here's the new UI, you can choose the screen mapping for tablet, and now I can do some customization on two of the buttons on the pen. And when you click on the express key tabs, it shows you all the 8 programmable express keys from K1 to K8, and when you click on the actual buttons on the tablet, it shows you the function being set for those keys at the bottom of the screens. And up there, you can set up different software with different sets of key functions. So here we are, testing this tablet on Clip Studio Paint. So, you could notice that the high level of pressure sensitivity that really shows the advantage of drawing strokes with various thickness lines and that gives you a lot of freedom on your creative words. And drawing diagonal strokes does not feel lag at all. So for K1, the brush buttons are good. K2, erasers are working well. K3, the eyedropper you have to hold it to pick it up a color. And holding down K4, it's a spacebar hand tool that allows you to pen your canvas. And next K5, it's an undo function. Well, and K6 and K7 will be a zoom in and zoom out function. So K8 is the tablet settings. And now, I'm going to customize a different function onto those express keys. And before that, I'm going to add a new software express key profile just for Clip Studio Paint you can browse through it and go scroll to the bottom and choose clipstudiopaint.exe and I'll be changing the K5 button from undo ctrl z to j which is a blur tool and now you can see it works instantly right after we change it and it does not mess up the rest of the keys which I came across on previous driver. And I really like the way how this product synchronized with Clip Studio Paint. It feels better than my old Intuos Pro 5. press it lighter, the shades are brighter and thinner, and when you press it harder, the shades goes darker and stronger. So in conclusion, after a while of test and draw, there aren't any problems and it is fully compatible with Clip Studio Paint. Next, let's move on to Paint Tool Side. I'm doing some quick configurations and settings before starting. 
and I'm gonna start testing with the strokes and the sensitivity level first. Okay, I think this is working fine. And it does have that thin and thick stroke. And when I was drawing that spiral line, it seems to have that sharp angle over here. And it happens a few times in multiple areas. Maybe glitches happen. And drawing diagonal strokes are fine too. And here you can see K K1 brush uh, buttons are working. K2 eraser buttons are working as well. And K3 the eyedropper tools are good. And K4 hand tools are are working good. And the K5 undo it's great. K6 with Ctrl plus zoom in and K7 Ctrl minus to zoom out doesn't work by default. So I have to customize the Ctrl plus space for zoom in and Ctrl plus all plus space to zoom out. Then it will work. And next, let's do some quick tests to draw something and see how well it performs. So after a while of tests, all the default buttons works well except zoom in and out for K6 and K7. I need to customize my own shortcut keys to get it to work. So here we are on the Krita. And K1 button is the brush. K2 it's the eraser. K3 it's the eyedropper and it works very well. And when I'm drawing these strokes, it synchronizes with my hand movements well. The pressure sensitivity works well, and the responsiveness are good, and no latency problems or lag. K4, space hand tool that allows you to move your canvas. K5, undo works fine. K6 and K7, zoom in and out works perfectly. And K8 will be tablet settings. And some of you guys wondering if the response rate stated on the tablet that shows greater than or equal to 200 RPS compared to other products like Galmon that shows 266 RPS or PPS does it feel any difference? Would you feel any lag issues? And my answer is no. I don't feel much of a difference. It works just great. In conclusion, all the buttons are working well with Krita without any issues. And next, move on to Toon Boom Harmony. In Toon Boom here, the basic brush does not seem to work with K1 button. And let me do a quick setup of new profile keys for Toon Boom, so it doesn't mess up with the rest of the presets. You can click the plus icon above there, and scroll to the bottom, and choose Toon Boom application. I'm trying out a few different tools here, which is the brush and pencil. And so right now, I'll be setting K1 with Alt plus B for brushed. As you can see, after we change the K1 button, to Alt B brush, it works well. As for the default K2 buttons, it doesn't work the way I want it to as well. So I'll be switching it to Alt plus slash to configure it to a pencil tool. And eyedroppers on K3 does not seem to work either. Maybe I'll have to customize to something more useful later. And as for K4 space hand tool allows me to move my canvas and my work area. 
MK5 control Z for undo works good <laughs> as usual all right and I'm switching the K3 button to alt plus E for erase the tool but basically it really depends on your personal workflow which you think it's more convenient for you and the default K6 and K7 doesn't work well for zoom in and out so I have to customize it to control plus space for zoom in but when I'm configuring a control plus alt plus space for zoom out it doesn't work and you can see it display that multiple space 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 many times but I guess you can use a keyboard to control rather than using this express key button in case it doesn't work the way you want it to be and drawing strokes and lines are smooth and good no problem at all And the final conclusion, with after a few rounds of tasks with different softwares on the express keys, touch, brushes and strokes and etc. Here's the good and bad points that I summarized from those tests. It is working perfectly with Clip Studio Paint, whether it's on the strokes, brush or buttons, and I love it. I'll give it a 5 star. And as for Krita, no latency problems nor lag. Everything works well, so it's a 5 star too. And as for Paint Tool side, a few buttons doesn't work by default and I have to customize zoom in and zoom out keys on K6 and K7 to get it to work. And little problems when drawing spiral lines and it reached to certain points it crooked and it happens on multiple points as well. So for paint tool side, you need to do some configuration on the pressure curve to have a bigger difference when you're testing the levels of pressure and sensitivity functions on the strokes. And I'll give it a 4 star. And the experience with Toon Boom, strokes and drawings are fluent. And just that certain shortcut keys doesn't apply to the express keys button. And most of the defaults won't work. And I'll give it a 3 star. Don't get me wrong, I'm not rating it for how good the software is. The rates above are just personal opinions on the compatibility with default settings on the buttons and brush. They are all good and great software. So let me know what you guys think and leave the comment down below. If my review is useful and helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to ring it so that you don't miss any future content. Thank you for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.